Acuity Control's in-light technology allows users to easily install and manage lighting and control zones through the use of in-light enabled devices. These devices are wired together by running CAT5 cables through RJ45 communication ports located on each device. An in-light enabled device with various functioning capabilities is programmed through push buttons, which toggle responses from the green LED on the device. For this video demonstration, we are programming a NEO, which is our input-output dimming device. Upon opening the box, locate your programming instructions booklet, which is usually coupled with the data sheets. All of the functioning capabilities for the device are listed and defined in this booklet. This is also where you can find your specific push button commands for the device. There are three levels of programming, A, B, and C. Individual levels are accessed by following the specific instructions spelled out in the booklet. NEOs have both A-level and B-level programming options, so we will walk through one of each. Let's start by changing the Occupied Bright Level function, which will control the max level of light whenever occupancy is detected or a luminaire is overridden on. The Occupied Bright Level is housed under the A-level programming and refers to number 23. To enter the A-level programming, simply press the programming button the number of times that corresponds to the function. In this case, it will be 23. Once we enter this initial command, we will see the green LED flash back a specific pattern three separate times. The number of flashes per group will correspond to the selected function's current setting. We can see that the device is flashing in groups of 10. If we refer back to the detailed function tables in the instruction booklet, we can see that the number 10 underneath occupied bright level corresponds to 90%. For demonstration purposes, let's bring the level down to 10% so we can visually confirm our programming changes. Again, enter occupied bright level programming by pressing the user button 23 times. Before the LED cycles three times, press the button again the number of times that corresponds to our new setting of 10%, which will be twice. As confirmation of setting change, the LED will flash back the new setting three times before exiting. As you can see, the luminaire is now dimmed down to 10%, so we have successfully changed the occupied bright level. For another quick example, let's change our switch tracking, which will indicate whether a luminaire will react to switch information. Switch tracking is housed under the B-level programming and refers to number 15 in our detailed function tables. To enter B-level programming, hold down the programming button until the LED flashes multiple times, release, and then repeat a second time. It's important to know that when entering B or C-level programming, the new function needs to be entered immediately after releasing the programming button following the second or third rapid flash. So after our second rapid flash, immediately press the programming button the number of times that corresponds to the new function. In this case, it will be 15. We will see the green LED flash in groups of two. According to our instructions, this means our device, by factory default, is enabled meaning that hitting a switch will command the NEO to turn the luminaire on or off. For demonstration purposes, we are going to disable this function. Re-enter B-level programming mode and then enter the switch tracking programming mode. Before the LED cycles three times, disable the switch tracking by pressing the programming button once. As confirmation of the setting change, the LED will flash back the new setting three times before exiting. Test your programming by hitting the switch. As we can see, the luminaire is staying off, indicating that our NEO is no longer tracking the switch inputs. So our programming is complete. And that concludes our video. Thanks for watching.